This is nuts. <laughs> this is nuts, right? Totally. Hey everyone, I'm here at CES 2025 and let me tell you, the show floor is absolutely packed with mind-blowing tech from AI companions that feel scarily human to home gadgets that'll make you feel like you're living in the future. There's so much to show you. Trust me, a few of these completely blew me away. Let's dive in and check out the coolest tech that's going to shape our world this year. These might look like regular designer sunglasses, but they're about to blow my mind. They are a smart assistant that can do translation, answer any question, teleprompt and a lot more all within a virtual screen that floats right in front of you, and it only weighs 49 grams. The Rokid team is going to demo their translation feature, and trust me, watch what happens when their rep starts speaking to me in Chinese. I think my reaction says it all. Yeah, let me see that. see how it works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's incredible. Yeah, that, that is brilliant. This is what it should have been like. This is great. <laughs> You are saying this is good, this is great. Is it ready? How's the weather today? It's also good time to go like that. So you're saying this is good, this is great. Is it ready? How's the weather today? Uh, what's it? I'm from. Uh, I live in Las Vegas. Oh, you should do that. So you're from here. Yes, I'm from here. Yeah. Yeah. You can go to the Chinese restaurant, ma. This is the most famous. I like Chinese food. Yeah, there's a good pizza restaurant uh, between the Mandalay Bay and the Luxor. This is nuts. <laughs> this is nuts, right? Totally. I am now fluent in Mandarin. Yeah, now you can I was fluent to Mandarin. Mandarin. Yeah. Wow. You like it? I love it. Basically, there's a micro display. Uh, so micro display that project the light and uh, spread to two different lenses. Okay, so there are waveguides in it as well. So we use only one display, but you are seeing binocular displays. Right. So this is green binocular display, 30 degree field of view. Uh, so this is for the display part. On the camera, there's a 12 megapixel camera on one side, on this side, and this is LED. And we also have the two directional speaker as well. Right, so, and from the other side, so the... Yeah, you are currently looking at this other side. So how is, that being powered oh so this is a display so the display is right in the middle so the display will be shining the lights through the glasses wow so it's like it's like a little projector yeah so it is a pickle projector or micro projector oh my goodness it's inside it's a micro led projector that's nuts yes it is right wow that is so the projector so project the images right so project image and the glass will be pass the light to here and then there's like a micro structure it will be project to your eye when it's close to your eye it project your to your eye directly right wow does it make sense yeah it does so i know you're doing real-time translation but could you like preload a document let's say for like a teleprompter like an act like oh. a pre road like yes of course of course so currently for example i'm seeing here um maybe you know your colleague can see this as well so I have different functions here. I have navigation, phone call, music, prop, parameter, or translator, or, you know, GPS. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, so we have all the functions. Check this little guy out. This is Mimo, and it looks like it hopped straight out of a Pixar movie, and it is an extremely customizable AI robot. See how it walks around on those six legs? It's designed to move like a living creature while looking like a piece of furniture, which is honestly kind of genius. What makes this thing special isn't just how it looks, but what's under the hood. Mimo is basically running multiple AI brains at once. You've got Vision AI for seeing and understanding its environment, Audio AI for voice recognition, and motion AI for movement, and you can actually swap out and customize these AI models however you want. The team at Jizai, the Japanese company behind this, told me they're working on all sorts of hardware add-ons and attachments too. Now, if you want one of these for yourself, better start saving. The tabletop version will set you back about $3,500, while this full-size model I'm looking at, we're talking $30,000. But hey, that's the price of having your own robotic furniture that can fetch you a cup of coffee, eventually. Meet Sirius, labeled as the world's most dynamic robot dog under one kilogram. What makes this little guy special is a super advanced motor system that gives it incredible agility. That's because it has 14 different points of movement throughout its body. Letting it do things I've never seen a robot pull off before at this size with its very lifelike movements. The way it mimics a puppy is so good, shaking its head and even cocking its back leg up at me. 
Nice. You know, I've been using unitary robots in my shows for years now, and they never fail to impress and push the boundaries of what's possible. They're back at CES with their new Go2W, which takes their incredible robot dog and adds wheels, making it even more versatile. Watch how effortlessly it climbs up these stairs. And then there's the G1, Unitree's new humanoid robot. I got to interact with one here at the show and I love it. Standing at about 4.3 feet tall, it's incredibly cool. It can perform several everyday movements, from standing to squatting, turning its body and waving. It's equipped with 3D LiDAR and depth cameras for navigation and Unitree has big plans for it, saying it'll eventually help around the house with tasks like cleaning and even making breakfast. Now this might be the craziest thing I've seen at CES 2025. It might not be a DeLorean, but what looks like a futuristic minivan is actually Xpeng's new land aircraft carrier. But wait till you see what's in the back. There's a whole aircraft tucked in there. What makes this different from other flying car concepts is how practical they've made it. Instead of needing a special hangar, you just drive this van to a takeoff spot, and with a single command, the back opens up and out comes a fully functional aircraft. When you're done flying, it folds back up and tucks away in the trunk. And yes, you can still fit four passengers in the van. The aircraft itself is impressive. It's got six rotors, a carbon fiber cockpit with panoramic views, and they say it's designed to be simple to fly with just a single control stick. But if you're not feeling like a pilot that day, it can even fly autonomously. Now for the reality check, this isn't just a concept. They've already got their type certification and have done public flight demonstrations with actual pilots. They're planning to start production this year with deliveries in 2026. The price tag is just under $300,000, which for a car that transforms into an aircraft actually doesn't sound that crazy. This is a fun thing I tried at CES 2025. This is what happens when a suitcase and an electric scooter have a baby. Yes, I'm actually riding my luggage. This is from Sino Megwell Tech, a California company, who are the creators of Altos. Altos is basically a three-wheeled electric suitcase that can zip around at about six miles per hour. You know how exhausting those long airport terminals can be? Well, now you can just ride your bag to your gate. Let me show you something that might actually change how we watch TV. This is Toshiba's new Regza, and while it looks like a regular TV, what it can do with AI is pretty interesting. Instead of scrolling through endless menus, you can just talk to it naturally, like, hey, find me something funny to watch for the next 30 minutes. The TV actually learns what you like and searches across all your streaming services to find it. But here's the feature that really got me excited, and it is to do with sound. You know how sometimes you can barely hear the dialogue over background noise? This TV can actually separate different audio elements. So if you're watching sports, you can turn down the commentator and pump up the crowd noise to feel like you're in the stadium. Or for news broadcasts, you can boost the voice clarity while dropping the background noise. The TV has radar sensing, it knows when you're nearby, so it can detect when someone walks up and starts a conversation. No more hunting for the remote, just a search for something to watch. Now I absolutely have to talk about Nvidia's keynote. This thing was massive, literally playing in a concert venue with a production value that rivaled a Taylor Swift concert, but for tech nerds like myself. Nvidia just made high-end gaming way more affordable. Their new graphics card gives you the same incredible gaming performance that would have cost you $1,600 last year, but now for just $549. That's like getting a Ferrari's performance for the price of a Honda. But the really mind-blowing stuff, they revealed Cosmos, an AI that actually understands physics and how the real world works, plus a tiny AI supercomputer called Project Digits that's basically the size of a game console. They're also going all in on self-driving cars with Toyota and other major car makers using their new super chip called Thor. Think of it this way, Nvidia's not just making better graphics cards anymore, they're building the brains that'll power everything from your gaming PC to self-driving cars and even robots. Pretty insane for a company that started out just making graphics cards for gaming. So we've just seen how Nvidia is revolutionizing AI at a massive scale, but now let's look at, yes, another robot pet. Meet Ropet. What's cool is how it learns and develops its own personality based on how you interact with it. Show it a smile and watch how happy it gets. Play some music and it'll actually dance along with you. But my favorite part, if you ignore it for too long, it actually gets a bit down, just like a real pet would. The tech behind this is pretty impressive. It can recognize hundreds of different treats, understands over 50 languages, and all the AI processing happens offline. No internet needed. You can even customize it with different eye styles and outfits to make it truly your own. For any child who can't have a real pet but wants that companionship, this could be your answer. From a cuddly AI companion to something that feels like it's straight out of an anime, this is Code 27, and it's basically bringing animated characters into the real world. The coolest part, it can actually track where you are. The display is really impressive. 
We're talking 2K resolution running at 60 frames per second, making these characters look incredibly smooth and lifelike. You can import your own characters or choose from their collection. Your character can wake you up in the morning with your schedule, chat with you throughout the day. All the processing happens right on the device using their custom chip so everything stays private. We're here at? In Motion Technologies. We do electric scooters and electric unicycles. This is a new model that we created in the last year to help people learn how to ride electric unicycles. So this actually has two wheels. So technically it's not an electric unicycle, but it, it makes the window of balance larger for you to learn. Okay. So it is fully body controlled. So you want to lean forwards to accelerate and lean backwards to decelerate and to turn you lean left and lean right. Okay. Okay. So this, this is my first time ever trying one of these things ever. So <laughs> bear with me. Yeah. So you want to take a seat on the seat there. Okay. And you'll put your feet on the pedals. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then you lean forward to go. Yeah. Lean forwards to accelerate. Okay. Yeah. So lean forwards and then lean backwards to slow down. There you go. Nice. And that's riding it in a nutshell. And how do you turn? Yeah. Turning is you need a little bit of speed, but you can lean left and go. Right. Okay. Yeah. And you can this go backwards? Or? It does go backwards. So if you lean backwards, it'll make you go backwards. There you go. All right. Great. I think you need a little bit of a buzzer for the truck, truck back, truck reverse. Yeah. The handle is just for moral support, so it's really just body controlled. Right, I see. So this is not actually doing anything. It's not doing anything. Right, okay, wow. It's hard to turn without speed. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. But in a closed, uh, very limited space here. So the goal is to stand up on this thing? Yeah, it? you can stand up as well. Can you give us a demo? You want to try it? Yeah, I can, I can teach you if you like. Teach, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. So what you'll do is you'll put one foot on and then I'll support you. And then you'll put your second foot on and then you can lean forwards and backwards same the way you ride it normally. So if you want to take your dominant foot, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, and then now you can lean forwards. Finesse is key. Finesse. Finesse. I haven't got much finesse. <laughs> okay. So if you lean forwards, There so you go. Lean forward, just like. There you go. Back. And you lean backwards. Slow and steady, slow and steady. It's all right. I think. Slow and steady, right? Slow and steady. <laughs> Price point. So yeah, these start at 299 okay. and they go all the way up to 3300 This is $299? Correct. That's cheap. Yes. It's made to get people into the industry. Right, okay. Uh, we have models that are good for commuting and they go models good for off-roading and good for high speed. Right. So whatever you want to do with it, your imagination can go wild. Wow. From personal transportation to the future of ride sharing, this is the Zika RT, Waymo's newest robot taxi, and it's got some fascinating details you might miss at first glance, like tiny wipers which actually clean the sensors that help this car see the world, and there are a lot of sensors to keep clean. We're talking 13 cameras, four LiDAR sensors, and six radar units all around the vehicle. What's cool is that this isn't just a concept. Zika is actually starting mass production of these this year for Waymo's fleet. They're already testing them in San Francisco and Phoenix. These purpose-built robotaxis really show how far we've come from just sticking some sensors on a regular car. Everything about this vehicle, from its design to those tiny wipers, was made specifically for autonomous driving. From intelligent robots to autonomous taxis, CES 2025 has shown us how AI is transforming every part of our lives, from revolutionizing healthcare, to making our homes smarter, to completely changing the way we travel. There was so much more to see at CES this year that I couldn't possibly fit it all into one video, but I hope this gave you a good taste of the incredible, fun, and sometimes weird innovations that are shaping our future. If you enjoyed this snapshot of my CES experience, hit that like button and subscribe to join me on more Vegas adventures. Thanks for watching. I am your Vegas navigator. Follow for everything Vegas.